Daniel, the law cannot be changed. I am bound by it. Your Majesty, I have always prayed to God. I cannot stop now. <laughs> Daniel, it's time. May your God watch over you. Do not harm me, Lord. Let them see your power. Bring. Thank you, Lord, for your protection. Daniel, are you alive? Yes, your majesty. God sent his angel. The lions have not harmed me. Truly, your God is the living God. I cannot believe the lions didn't touch him. His God is mighty indeed. Let everyone in my kingdom know the God of Daniel is great and eternal. I'm going to show you how to create animated stories with consistent characters. And not just that, I will also show you how to do multiple character lip syncs all completely for free. If you've been struggling to keep your characters looking the same in every scene or making them talk naturally, this tutorial is for you. In one of my recent videos, some of you mentioned that you weren't getting consistent characters. Today, we are going to fix that once and for all. So you'll be able to create your own animated stories with consistent character and all for free. Trust me. If you need my personal guidance, kindly check out the link in the description box. My name is Zolapo, so make sure to subscribe, like, and drop your questions in the comment section below this video. Let's jump right into it. We are going to be heading over to ChatGPT, which is going to help us write a short story. All right, so I'm just going to paste this particular prompt, and the prompt says, Write a short Bible story as a dialogue script for an animated video. Include only conversations between characters. It's going to be a dialogue uh, script. I'm asking ChatGPT to help us write a story with dialogues. Dialogues are those things that the characters will say. It's not going to be in form of the regular narrations. This one is going to be in form of dialogue where the characters will speak. And if you want this exact prompt, please kindly comment Bible prompt below this video. And then I'm just going to send. So this is what I got from ChatGPT. Look at it. We have scene one, two, three, four, five, six. So each of the scene has the characters and their dialogue, right? Scene one has King Darius with what he is going to say. We have Daniel with what he's going to say. We're going to be doing the next step, which is to generate our images. And then we'll just tell ChatGPT to help us write prompt to generate images for each of the scene, making sure characters are consistent and in 3D pizza style, clear, bright, and well contrasted. And then we'll just go ahead and send. If you take a look at the response ChatGPT gave, we have the first part, which is the general instructions for all the scenes for consistency. So the first part is stated we want it in 3D pixel style, right? Expressive and colorful, bright, clear, high contrast lighting, consistent character appearances throughout, and the, you know, slightly exaggerated emotions for animation clarity. Now, I want you to pay attention to this part. Look at this part before it went ahead to give us the prompt. We have the character descriptions consistent for all the scene. We have Daniel, and that is the description for Daniel. We have the king, and that is the description for the king. We also have the guards. We have um, lions, you know, realistic, but slightly stylized, expressive eyes, gentle yet majestic. Now, look at scene one. We have the prompt for scene one. We have the prompt for scene two, and then we have the prompt for scene three, four, five, and six. Like I said earlier, we have six scenes for this particular story. So we're going to be generating the images for this scene, and we're going to be using the tool called Google Risk. We'll head over to our browser and type Google Risk. I'll put the links to the tools I'm going to be using in this video in the description box below. So just check the description box below. So I also created a WhatsApp group where we'll have creators or intending creators who want to be using AI for content creation or for whatsoever. It's just a support group where you can ask questions from each other, right? I'll put a link in the description box so we can just support each other. Anyone who is interested can join 
um, through the link i'll put all the links in the description box or in the comment section of this video just click on the first link and it will take you directly to the website you'll be asked to sign in so just sign in with your gmail and then you click on enter to just continue get started so right here you're going to see this part where we have had images right you click on it and it's going to open this particular panel right we have the subject and we have the scene so this subject is where we are going to be um, putting the prompt to generate the characters that's the characters itself for consistent character reasons that's why we are doing this we come to chat gpt on the scene one we are going to copy this part where we have for daniel and i'm also going to copy this part because that is how i want it to be i'll add it to daniel's description you can actually ask ChatGPT to add the general instructions with the characters but let me just go ahead so what i'm doing is i copied the description of that of daniel and i also copied the general instructions because we want it in 3d pixel style animation we want it bright you know so i'll just copy all of them like that and i'll head over to risk we have the subject where you can this pencil part you can put a prompt for you to generate your character for you or you can upload a character if you already have one so in our own case we're going to ask this to help us generate a character for daniel can you see that so i put the description for daniel and then we're going to click on generate so this is daniel's character as you can see we go back to chat gpt and then copy the description for king darius can you see that i'm making sure i had the pizza style can you see that so this description is for king Darius. all together i'll copy with the description of how i want the character to look that's 3d pizza style expressive colorful bright clear so i'll just come back here and paste and i'll add i'll click on this plus sign to add subject this plus sign right here i'll click on it to add the subject because that is another character we'll be needing in this story i'll click on the pencil sign and i'll paste right and then click on generate that is king darius we'll go back to chat gpt and repeat the same for the other characters so the other characters we have here is the guard i'll copy the same i repeat the same procedure and i had another subject it's still going to be on that subject right they are the subjects the characters we need for the story and then i will click on generate so these are the guards and then i repeat the same for the lion all right you can see that the base characters are ready we have them on that subject you can always use this plus sign to add more subjects right so the next thing we'll do is go back to chat gpt and now copy the scene right look at the scene prompt for scene one this is what we need we need a 3d pizza style scene of a palace courtyard we have king darius we also have daniel just king darius and daniel right there so the two characters we have on scene one is just king darius and daniel we'll come to Wix and we will select the characters we need for scene one we only need daniel and darius I'm going to disable the lion and the guards for now so i'll just tap here to disable i tap this to disable meaning that we are only concentrating on daniel and the king for now because that is the characters we need in scene one so i'll just tap on this part you can see that it has added that right here then we'll tap on this prompt box and then paste the prompt this is the prompt for scene one so right here we're going to select the aspect ratio we are going to be doing this as a short or should we make it long form okay let's do 16 by 9 put it on 16 by 9 and then we'll go ahead and generate all right you can see we have two different results this gives two results per generation and these two things are looking so beautiful so i'm going to save both of them i'll just go ahead and save i'll save both of them can you see that and then we'll move on to we just come back to chat gpt and copy the um description the prompt description for scene two we have the girls and daniel we'll head over to risk and then we'll come back here where we have these add images we are going to disable the king and we'll activate we'll enable the guards the guards and daniel because th those are the two people or the two characters we need in the next scene so i'll just tap right here and then paste the new prompt 
the prompt for scene two. Can you see that? And then we'll send. All right. Can you see that we have that generated? And we'll just go ahead and save. I'll, I'll prefer to save this. I'll just save this one. Now we'll go ahead and copy the third prompt. The third prompt is inside the den. And the characters we have there are the lions and Daniel. We'll just go ahead and, you know, paste. All right. And then... We are going to change the images, the base images. We have Daniel and the lions, right? Daniel and the lions. Those are the characters we have in the scene, right? That are meant to appear in the scene. So we we'll just go ahead and send and we'll wait for that to generate. All right. This is what we have. And we'll just go ahead and save. You know, I love this. I love this website so much. Google Risk owned by google they have done something so amazing for we creators in this ai niche and um, it's so awesome you need to take advantage of this so the next thing we'll be doing is to animate these our uh, images all right to animate the images we're going to head over to grok grok comes in the app version and the web version so this is the app version you click on create videos and then we'll start animating our images We'll start with the first one. So this is the first one. And automatically on Grok, I mean the app version, once you upload your image, it starts animating automatically. But if you are using the web version, you can turn off automatic um, animation. That is, once you upload your image, you can just go ahead and give it the prompt to animate. You don't have to wait for it to automatically animate as it's doing. As you can see, it has automatically animated the image I uploaded. But this is not what we want. We'll come back to ChatGPT and then scroll up to where we have the dialogue. So this is where we have the dialogue, right? For scene one, we'll just copy what Daniel has to say. I mean, what King, you know, King Darius said. Because if you say we should copy all of this and put to animate that particular scene, Grok may not be able to do all at a go because it's just six seconds. So what I usually do is, is I just copy the first part, the first, um, the first dialogue, which is from this. So I come to this edit video, come to this edit video, and I'm going to paste this. King Darius says, you know, worried and pacing says. says so before the king darius i'll just put dialogue dialogue and um should we use american accent this is american accent dialogue in american accent if you want to do nigerian accent just change it to nigerian accent for whichever story you want to create dialogue in american accent king darius worried person says daniel the law cannot be changed i am bound by it so we'll just go ahead and send look at the options we have here just leave it as it is okay and go ahead and send so we're going to wait for this to send daniel the law cannot be changed i am bound by it can you see that this is so good just go ahead and download the this arrow right here to save changed. on your device we head over to charge gpt and copy the daniel's parts the da daniel's dialogue part just copy each character's dialogue then i'll just come over to this to grow all right so i've pasted the parts that daniel is also going to say i copied it from the chat gpt conversation and then look at what it's and we'll just go ahead and send so once you're satisfied with that, just go ahead and download. So you just repeat the same procedure, you know, copy the dialogue for each of the scene or for each of the character according to the scene. And, you know, you paste it in Grok. Upload the respective picture in Grok and put the dialogue just like I did right here. So after we've gotten all our visuals, the next thing we'll be doing is to head over to CapCut, click on New Video. And then you import your scenes, then add whatever you want to add, your captions, you know, all of those stuff. And then you go ahead and export. I hope this is explanatory enough.
what would you like our next video to be on please let me know in the comment section i know you like this video you found value can you like share this video and leave a comment for me below if you have any questions drop them in the comment section i'll be glad to answer you thank you so much for watching see you in my next video